Now we've got Stephen Shaw, and he's going to talk about Glen Silver. Yep. So. Okay. Hello. Uh, how about my voice? It's okay? Okay, uh, I will talk about the uh, system de deployment and the uh, bare metal recovery by Cronia. I'm Stephen Shaw from uh, National Center for High Performance Computing. Uh, it's, it's a super computing center in Taiwan. Okay, this is the outline for my talk. Uh, I uh, will introduce the, the project Cronia and uh, it will cover the Cronia program itself and the test testimonials award and users in Taiwan award. Since I only have 20 minutes, so I will uh, do a very quick review about this, and I will do a very quick about uh, Cronia live demo. Okay, uh, what is Cronia? Cronia is a partition or disk cloning tool. It's something similar to uh, Ghost or True Image, uh, but Cronia is uh, open source free software. Uh, it's a bare metal, bare metal recovery tool for uh, Galoo slash Linux, Apple, and uh, uh, Microsoft Windows. For bare metal, bare metal recovery, uh, I mean that uh, we don't have to install the software or operating system previously. So you can uh, use it to backup or restore right away. It's something different to the image backup. Uh, I, I mean, it, image backup is something different from the file backup. Uh, I, I think uh, you are all from system uh, administrators, so it's not a problem for you. Uh, what's the features for Cronia? Uh, it's a GPO, li GPO license. It's a support file system uh, on Windows, Linux, and uh, Apple. So you can see most of the major file systems are supported by Cronia. And Cronia also supports Logical File Manager version 2. And it supports Grub version 1 and version 2. Also, it also supports Serial Console. So if you are doing the, you know, a large cluster, maybe you will use the Serial Console and you can use Cronia with a PSC server, then you can do the cloning. And uh, it also supports multicast. Cronia not only uh, image the partition, but also image the AMIA file system table, something like that. So you can use that to do the uh, many uh, disk cloning in, in one machine. It's, uh, uh, if it's also support uh, sector to sector copy if the file system is not supported. So for example, ZFS, uh, right now it's not supported by Cronia, so you can use uh, Cronia will use DD to, to, to do the image. Actually, Cronia is based on most of the uh, existing software. For example, Parkron, DRBO. Uh, Parkron is developed by uh, my coworkers, and uh, also DRBO is developed by our team. And it's also used the part image, NTFS Chrome, DD, UV, UDP case, something like that. Mm, Parkron, as I mentioned, is developed by my coworkers, Thomas Tsai and Jess Wang. And uh, actually, it supports more file systems. I mean, for example, right now you can see UFS is supported. And uh, uh, Cronia not, not yet to use the UFS function, but late, uh, later we will, you, uh, this year we will try to in, uh, use this function of Parkron to do a uh, BSD cloning or image. And Parkron will also support more file systems, for example, VMFS, BetaFS. Uh, there are two types of uh, Cronia. One is a server edition, the other one is a live. For live, you can use that for a single machine backup. You can uh, put a Cronia live on CD, USB flash, PSE server, or hard drive. And for the server edition, you need a PXC server, and the actually is, uh, comes with a DRBO server. And we also have a DRBO live. So, yeah, you can try. For the Cronia server, as I mentioned, you can put on CD, USB flash, or hard drive. Or PSC server is a support a lot of language, and you can uh, use that. I mean, in a general purpose, you can interactively use use Cronia to do the save or restore. Or 
you can create your customized Columbia Live. For example, if you want to create a recovery CD for your user, then you can use Columbia to create su such a recovery CD. And when your user get the recovery CD, he can put a recovery CD, and with one key, the system can be restored. And that's the screenshot for the Columbia Live. There's one for the put menu. Later, I will do some of the demonstrations, so I will skip this one. And as I mentioned, DRBLI is for the Columbia Server Edition. And also, this one is based on the uh, Debian Live. So you can, uh, if you want to use the Server Edition, you can give it a try. Uh, some of the testimonials we have, the first one is uh, from uh, Christian. He is from the Cisco. He used Columbia Server Edition, actually, to clone uh, 5 gigabyte image to 64 machines. And it's, it's done under five minutes. And uh, this one, Barney, is, is from uh, Massachusetts. He used Colonial Server Edition also to clone more than 1,000 systems. But of, of course, every page, he uh, cloned about 80 to 100 machines. Uh, and uh, it's a, it's, it took him about 16 to 38 minutes for every page. Uh, this uh, teacher, teacher Su, he is from uh, a primary school, elementary school in Taiwan, and he used Colonia to clone more than uh, 100 USB flash drive. Uh, actually, it's uh, Ubuntu with uh, system and uh, data. Every USB flash drive, he cloned about three gigabytes. And you can see in the photo, he used a regular machine and uh, every page he cloned about eight USB flash drive, and it took him about 30 minutes for eight flash drive. So it, it saved him a lot of time. And this one, uh, Yogan Yogan is from Canonical Taipei, and uh, he used Colonia uh, to create the ISO image or to do a backup or recovery. And you can see that it's, it's said that it's helped him a lot. And we got some of uh, the project got some of the award. First in France, in the public sector software, we got yeah got an award. And uh, in the National Applied Research Laboratory in Taiwan, we got another award. And also a national award from Premier in Taiwan. Okay, I will just go very quickly. <laughs> if I speak too, too fast, uh, you can stop me and uh, ask more details later. And Colonia actually is a project of the month in, in, in SourceForge, on SourceForge. So you can check the, the front page of SourceForge and you can see Colonia is, is a project of the month right now. And the users in Taiwan, we see more, more, most of the users is from the uh, primary school or high school because they need a free, free tool to do this kind of massive deployment. And uh, worldwide, mo uh, we know there are more than uh, 1.4 1 million downloads about these two software. And most of mo most of the users are for the purpose they, they use is for Chromia. And right now I will do a very quick demonstration about Chromia Live. Uh, here's a scenario. I, I will have a, a running Ubuntu, let me, let me show you. Okay, this one is big enough. Yeah, there's a running uh, Ubuntu comic. And, and, and you can see that it's a eight gigabyte disk and uh, there are three partitions, okay? And the first partition is for the boot and the second partition is for the system and the third part partition is for the swap. So. I will destroy the system with this command, dd, to dump the zero to every partition and to the disk, okay? So first I destroy, destroy the uh, swap partition. Okay, it's done. Uh, I, I, I dump the zero to the third partition and I will destroy the first partition is for the boot Okay, it, it's done. Okay, and I'll destroy, 
destroy the second partition is for the system, the later you will see the system uh, or miss. So if I run some command, you will see the system is gone. Okay, I will destroy the whole disk, even the partition table, the EMEA. Okay, so right now the system actually is a broken system. So I will use a restore, I will restore the system by the, the image I have saved previously. So right now I shut down the machine. Just power off. Sorry. All right. Okay, and uh, <coughs> I hook up the the Kronika ISO image to the CD, and I'll put put the Kronika live in the Ubuntu live. I just destroyed. It. This is a good menu for the Kronika live, and uh, because the 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 size of my my screen is a little bit small, so I will use the PGA uh, 800 and 600. It will take a, a few minutes to put. So if you have any question, you can start me when we are waiting, okay? Not really a, a few, not, uh, uh, yeah. Please. So once you have once you have a um, an image of a machine, presumably you can update it incrementally. You you, you mean to update the image? Yeah. Uh, right now there is no incremental function, so you have to image every time. Yeah, maybe in the future we will have this kind of function. Okay. Right now I put the Chromium Live, and uh, you can choose language. I will just use English. And the you can change the keyboard layout. I, right now I'm using US keyboard layout, so I use the default one. Okay, I can just stop Kronia live. Right now I'm deal, deal with the image and the, the hard drive, so I choose the first one. If you want to choose the disk to disk or partition to partition Chrome, you can choose the, the second choice. So I choose the first one, device image, and uh, you can put your image on the local hard drive or USB or external hard drive, or you can put on the SH server or sandbar server or any server, something like that. Right now, because my the machine I am present, presenting is also an NFA server, and I put the image here. So I will just use NFA to mount this part, uh, this file, file, this directory. Okay, first I have to configure the network, and I mount with uh, NFS version two or three option, and that's the NFS server IP address, and that's the the directory I want to mount. Okay, you can see it's mounted, and right now I choose the beginner mode. Uh, if you are uh, very familiar with the, this kind of uh, re restoring, you can choose the expert mode. Right now, I just use the beginner mode, and I choose restore the disk. Okay, you can see the, the image file. Image files are shown here, and I try to do a comic update, okay, about the system. And that's the, the hard drive I want to restore, okay. Actually, you can use one command to, to do that. So the, in the green, green color, you can see that. So if you want, you can just use this one, this command right away. Okay, Kronia uh, asks you to confirm you want to destroy the, the, you want to override the hard drive. That's the hard drive I have. Yes, I want to override, and it will confirm twice, so of course. Just make sure. But of course, you can uh, skip this kind of command. Confirmation in the expert mode. You can with some option. Then you will, your user can just put your machine uh, with the recovery CD and everything just back, even without press the confirm key. You can do that, but of course you can see the the, the pros and the cons. It depends on your choice. Okay, you can see uh, right now it's uh, 
restoring the second partition, uh, the first partition is done. And the speed is about 800 to 900 megabytes per minute. And you can see right now it's in the virtual bus virtual machine. So it's a, for the real machine, it, it will be faster. The user, some user they report the, the, the fastest one I saw in the forum is about five gigabytes per minute. And for us, uh, we, we, the, the fastest one is about four, 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 four point four, four point five gigabytes per minute. Okay. So you can see, uh, because the, uh, the image I, I want, to show is just a, a demo purpose. So although it's a Ubuntu, but it actually is a text mode only. So the, the whole partition, I mean, the whole data actually is about seven, 797 megabytes, okay? And you can see it will be restored about in about one one minute. And after this partition is restored, it will do some post run, for example, to create, you can see it create the the swap partition and the resize the partition and the rerun the graph. And right now you can see it's run the graph too. Okay, so, okay, right now everything is done. So I can choose to reboot the system I, I have destroyed. Okay, I want to save the time, I just reboot the machine, reset. And, okay, this time I, I press F F12 to use the primary you can see, yeah, go to Grab2 with Ubuntu, comic is, is back, and we can see if it really works or not. Hope, hope it works. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's not easy to do a live demo. Okay, let me check. Okay, everything is back. You can see uh, last the partition we have is back, and uh, we can run some of the command to make sure the system is back. Okay, last la probably the, the demonstration. Actually, uh, there are more, but only I only have 20 minutes, so I will just do this kind of demonstration. But with Korea, actually, it's not too difficult for you to create a recovery CD. Actually, in the menu, you can you can just choose to create a recovery. CD, or you can want to create a, a recovery flash drive, and it will guide you to create uh, ISO file, an ISO file or zip file for you, and you can put on the USB flash drive. It's not not too difficult. difficult. Although it looks like it's terrible. I mean, I mean the the the, the uh, Naku is too easy. terminal mode user interface. But actually, for system and administrators, I think you can accept that. Right? <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, la la that's, that's the basic, that's the demonstration and the talk I have within 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, we've got a, what, time for one or two questions. Uh, well done on the live demo. You know, sometimes they don't go. Um, I just wonder, um, we use Ghost at work. The uh, compression of the image file that you create, how, how does that compare? You mean the compression? Yeah, yeah. When, when you're writing, taking an image of the machine and you're writing it to some other disk, yeah. uh, what sort of compression do you get? Uh, right. In the beginner mode, the compression GZIP will be used. And we use the, uh, it's, uh, the, face, the face is one. But actually, in the export, export model, you can choose to use the BZIP2, LZO, and uh, LZMA. So it's up to you. And uh, for GZIP, the, the compression ratio right now, let me sh show you. That's the image file we, we have. It's about 200 and 15 megabytes. So right. as, as you remember, maybe it's the original size is about 800. So it's about it's one Pretty ball. good. Okay, thanks. No problem. Hello. My question is uh, when you're restoring an image. What? Uh, oh, okay. Hello. Uh, when you're restoring an image, 
Do you yes. have to restore the partitions to be the same size as they were originally? Or, uh, or you can, you, can you restore them to be larger or smaller than be, they were originally? Uh, it can be restored to the larger one or equal size, but not a small one. Right now, the support small one is not working. And in the expert mode you have, you can see there is an option, dash K1, and you can, uh, Korea will create a, the partition size proportionally for you. So for example, you have 200, uh, 200 gigabyte source disk, and uh, if you have a new 400 gigabyte source disk, if you choose the option K1, it will create the partition table proportionally for you. Thank you. Okay, last question. You mentioned that it'll rebuild um, LVM setups. Will it also reconstruct a software RAID setup? Uh, uh, right now, uh, yeah, yeah. right now, uh, RAID. Uh, it depends on what kind of RAID you have. For sub sub RAID, fact RAID is not supported yet. Yeah. So if yeah. you just have like software RAID one, no, no. no. Okay. Okay. Join me in thanking the speaker. Thank you.